Okay, in this video, we will solve this problem right here. And in the description box of this video, there are two playlists. One playlist has categorized integral problems and the other playlist has random integral problems. And so let's begin. So the way I'm gonna approach this problem, I'm gonna say that u is equal to this piece. So we have x plus five. So then du would be the derivative and the derivative of x is just one, derivative of five is zero. So we just get dx. So not too exciting. But if you notice, we have an, another x right here. So we need x to be related with u. So what I could do is I could isolate this x by subtracting five on both sides. And so I could say that x is equal to u minus five. Now we also have a definite integral, so it's bounded from negative five to one. So let's relate these numbers with u. So what we could say is if x is equal to negative five, I can plug in a negative five here. So I would get negative five plus five, which is zero. Likewise, if we plug in one, we could say x is equal to one and we get one plus five, which is six. Okay, so let's rewrite our problem. So we have the integral. Instead of negative five, we're saying it's zero. And instead of one, we're saying it's six. Instead of saying x, we're saying u minus five. So parentheses, u minus five, close parentheses, parentheses. Instead of x plus five, we're gonna say it's u. And the square root is the same thing as u raised to one half. So that's the square root of du. Next, we can multiply this out. So we're gonna get the integral zero to six. u times u raised to one half is u raised to three half. Negative five times this is gonna give us negative five u raised to one half. Uh, we can put parentheses, parentheses, du. So we take the integral of this piece. So we have u raised to three divided by two plus one. So we would get five halves. We have to divide by five halves minus five u. We add one, so one half plus one is three half. So we also have to divide by three half. Um, no plus c because we have a definite integral. So it's from zero to six. So now we can rewrite and swap. And so if we're dividing by five divided by two, that's the same thing as multiplying by two divided by five. We are replacing u with what we have. So six parentheses raised to five half minus because of this piece, uh, five divided by three divided by a half. So we can rewrite it as five times two thirds parentheses, replace u with six. So six parentheses. Uh, raised to three half. And then, you know, if you plug in a zero for both, you're still gonna get zero, so minus zero, which doesn't matter. Okay, we can do one more step to clean up a little bit. Instead of saying negative five times two divided by three, you could say negative 10 divided by three. And so our final answer will be this. And that's all we need to do for this problem.